Hello Sagittarius, this is your reading for February 2021, around the second week it starts for the energies coming in for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, those belonging to the Zodiac sign of Sagittarius. See what's going on, to be the five card spread with clarifiers, plus I will be giving a mini pick a card reading, will possibly have a lot to do with love, but we shall see. See what the income and energy is for you. Let's see. Father of Wands. Some of you may be dealing with a Leo type energy. Um, Sagittarius. It could be someone a little bit older. Maybe someone's having trouble. Maybe someone's short tempered. It also could be your lack of motivation for a lot of you. It's all those things. That's income and energy. In the past, though, you're dealing with the Youth of Swords. Youth of Swords could be a younger type air sign. Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Or messages are kind of sharp. People are a little short tempered, acting up a little bit. Um, your obstacles, you're giving up hope. It's something you're supposed to be working towards is hope. Okay, Sag? Trying to regain balance. Trying to keep things on an even keel. It's coming towards you. Someone's going to be really super defensive towards you, okay? Eight of Pentacles. And you're going to stop working with this person or situation. I feel like people are short-tempered. Let's find out who it is. Maybe you can avoid it, okay? This is why we read these. This is why I don't um, read these over just to get all positive readings or things like love and money all the time. Sometimes I get those. But I tell you the truth. And it's warning you that things are a little unbalanced with somebody and they're going to get short-tempered with you. So let's find out the Youth of Swords in reverse. I need two cards for that for Sagittarius. They're going to be really upset for some reason. Five of Fire because of competition maybe and strife. The Youth of Swords. Page of Water. Emotional messages going haywire. Okay, so this is what your reading is, Sag. I'm sorry, but you got to give the truth. If you don't give the truth, it can mess you up. I'm going to say I'm going to talk about that on my website, why I read the way I do. What happened to my first husband when he was sick, okay? He was sick and went to one of those 1-800 number lines, what you saw on TV, and he wanted to know how his health was going to be, and he was considered terminal at that time. And they told him a bunch of BS. He didn't ask me because he knew I'd tell him what the cards would say. And I really didn't want to read them for him, you know. But the star card, giving up hope. Don't do it. It's what you're supposed to work towards is hope. Two cards, please. Night of Earth. Slow coming. You think hope is slow coming. And change. You're wanting change in your life. And you may go for change. It also could be that you're overcompensating, trying to do more than just a couple of things to earn income. But things are off balance. You've got to balance them out again is what it's saying. This is your energy where you can balance this out. You know, it's temperance, keeping things on an even keel. So I need two cards for the temperance card, please, for Sagittarius. Nine of Water. If you want your wish fulfillment, you got to regain balance. It's not saying you won't get it, and you will get justice. You will get justice in that Libra energy there. So you will get wish fulfillment um, and justice over imbalanced situations, rebalancing your life. But someone is going to come towards you a little mad, maybe because you get justice, because you're getting wish fulfillment. So I need two cards for the Seven of Wands. Very, very. Um, defensive card on the outside, okay? Two of fire. They refuse to budge. Four of earth. Could have to do with your finances or their finances. Maybe they want money from you. Maybe they overspent. This could be someone you know overspending. Something to do with the finances. They didn't handle it very well on the outside. They didn't make very good choices on the outside. And they may come a little defensive and blame you for it. In the end, you refuse to work with this person anymore. Eight of Pentacles. I need two cards, please, for Sagittarius. Give me one more shuffle. Queen of Air. Could be an air sign. Air, water. Ten of Cups. 
you will get wish fulfillment. You are going to get wish fulfillment. You are getting your ten of cups, like a half. They call it the happy ever after card. You know, um, you are going to get that. But when you do, you're going to walk away or, or stop working with somebody. You're going to put it, you know, kick it to the curb. Someone who's very defensive with you. They're causing imbalance. You will be so much happier when you do walk away. You're going to collaborate with something else. Work with something else. Okay, you're walking away. Then you're going to be working towards something else with other people, possibly more than one person. But it looks like. You're putting something behind you, something you really need to do. Let's find out something about love. Let's pick a card reading for Sagittarius. Summoning and rising for the set starting the starting the second second week of February 2021. I'll get these words out sooner or later. I need three cards get the, for the pick a card reading. Let's see. And three cards from the Angel Answers, Sagittarius, Sun, and Rising. Three cards from the Moonology, Sagittarius, Sun, and Rising, 2021. Three cards, please. Now, you can pick what you feel drawn to the most, okay? That'll be the main energy, the most strongest energy for you, but I do bring them all together. As you know, all together at the end for secondary energies, because a lot of times they do relate, okay? They relate with each other. You pick this section. Getting to know somebody, getting to know other people, um, getting to know new people also, you know, I think you got to have new things coming in. Like I said, you're going to be dropping one thing and getting to know another situation or people. Ask help from others. I do believe you will. You'll give up one thing. Ask help from others. You will get help if you do. Don't let pride get in the way, okay? Let someone get to know you. Ask for help, and you will get help. Some of you are really needing help right now. That's what it's saying. Pay attention to red flags. I see this with this person getting really... um. Defensive towards you, pay attention to red flags with the, anybody that's coming at you. You're probably right, okay? We always do that. You are ready to leap forward into something new that could have to do with love. And remember, emotions are flying high around you, Sagittarius. People are really emotional right now. Don't let it get to you. I do see better things coming in. Yeah, don't be codependent. Someone may try to push. Sometimes when someone pushes so hard or you know, on you, with, with their demands, it can actually make you stick around when you don't really want to, even though you know it's not good for you. You may be thinking about this. Let it go away. Go away from uh, codependency issues. Trust in yourself to move forward again. I do see positive things coming in. If you regain balance, if you get rid of the people, walk away from situations that are really, really toxic, okay? So trust in yourself and your dreams. They need a practical plan, regain balance, and they will come true, okay? They will come true. So let people get to know you. You're going to have other people coming in your life, okay? That's all there is. Ask help from others. If you're having difficulty in your life or with people, ask help from others. You will get it. Don't let pride get in your way. You may be very prideful. Um, pay attention to the red flags when someone is coming after you in a very negative light. And put a stop to it. You're ready to move on and move forward in your life. Don't, don't allow codependency issues, whether you're having them or the person around you that's getting really defensive. It's time to let go, okay? And trust in yourself and your dreams. If you want your dreams to come true, it's time to be practical. Remain, you know, regain your balance. Go forward what you're wanting to go forward again. Okay, and all these things will start to unravel. There's a reason why these things happen. It's a reason why you see people for their true selves and walk away. It's so something better can come in. So don't be afraid to go towards what is going to be good for you. You know, what you're going to accept. Which, and going towards other people that are helpful, not hurtful. Okay, so this is your reading. I will upload this and I will talk to you later. Okay, doesn't take that long for a five card reading. We'll upload it. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.